Great Lakes Prepping here. Last year, I made a video showing three different ways to preserve your corn harvest. That video ended up being very long because there was just so much to cover since I showed every single step for freezing, dehydrating, and pressure canning corn. So this year, I've decided to sort of remix that long video and break it up into three separate and much shorter videos that will hopefully be a little more digestible than the one great big long video. And this video right here is all about freezing corn. I'll show you all the steps that I take to freeze fresh corn so that I can enjoy some nice buttery corn on the cob all year long. This is by far the easiest method and provides absolutely great results. And the best part is, is that you can have whole corn on the cob to enjoy whenever you want. It's a very simple process. And the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is shuck the corn. Now we're not gonna really do much to these cobs of corn. They're not gonna be blanched, cooked, or anything else. But I will say that I like to give them a rinse under the faucet first to get you know, some of the stringy stuff and the silk off of there. But after that, I wanna make sure to dry them pretty thoroughly. I could let them air dry a little while or just sorta of dry them off with a dish towel. And since we can't just stick cobs of corn in the freezer all by themselves, we're gonna do what? Vacuum seal them. Now you can definitely use something like a Ziploc bag, but I do recommend that if you do that, you do your best to squeeze or even suck the air out of that bag the best you can. Some people will use a drinking straw just to kind of suck as much of that air out as they can as they close up the last bit of that bag. If you do use the Ziploc bag method, I would advise double bagging them because you really want to avoid that freezer burn. But if you know me, you know that I love my vacuum sealing machine. And for our corn today, I'm gonna to be using this sort of narrower vacuum seal bag or rather the roll of make your own bag. You can certainly use the pre-made bags and you can certainly use the much wider bags that would allow you to maybe put three or four corn cobs wide or stack them as deep as you want, uh, sort of perpendicular. But for me, I like putting two corn cobs per bag because that's about a serving size for me. So I'm just gonna use my cobs of corn to kind of measure how long I need to cut this bag. Of course, we need to leave a little extra on both sides so the sealing machine can do its thing. And for these make your own bags, of course you have to seal the first side before you put anything in it. Now it's as simple as putting our corn cobs in the bag and sealing the other end. Now you see I cut this a little longer than I really needed it to be, but at this point it wouldn't really give me any benefit to trim a little bit of this off, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And that's all there is to it. I'll go ahead and write the month and year on the bags and stick them in the freezer. And that's where they'll sit until I'm ready to use them. Then you cook them in whatever way that you normally like to cook corn on the cob. Boil them, grill them, bake them, whatever. Real quick, let's talk about a few pros and cons of the freezing method of preserving corn. The obvious benefits to this method are that it's the easiest and quickest. There's really no preparation other than shucking the corn and sticking them in the freezer bags and vacuum sealing takes pretty much no time at all. This corn will last almost indefinitely in the freezer and I really like this method because it allows you to preserve whole corn on the cob. As far as cons, well, the obvious one is that it requires constant electricity. They'll stay preserved as long as your freezer stays frozen. And the only other con is that you have to wait for them to thaw before you eat. 
So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this very exciting video about vacuum sealing and freezing corn. And if you want to see the food saver vacuum sealing machine that I use, I'll put a link to it in the video description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay up to date on all our latest stuff, including future food preservation videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Great Lakes Prepping.